Hey, Sarah, remember when I said... I can't wait to talk about the selection. <laughs> Apparently I could wait. Well, not anymore, because the sequel to the selection, The Elite, comes out today. So the selection is a young adult dystopian romance. So as far as dystopian societies go, Ilea, or Ilea, I don't know, quite know how to pronounce it, um, where the selection takes place, is one of the better ones to live in. Um, what ended up happening was that all the society was divided into a really strict caste system, which goes from ones who are like only the royalty and eights who are basically like your untouchable pariah class. Um, America, which is the name of our main character, her name is America Singer, she is a five. Anything under that, your sixes and sevens and obviously eights, it's mass poverty. America, though, falls in love with this boy named Aspen, and he is a six. So it would be very unlikely for her to be able to marry him, but they're trying to, like, apparently keep their romance a secret until they can figure out a way to break it, particularly to her parents, because the ideal is that you want your daughter to marry up um, and not down at all. Then the selection comes up, and the prince has come of age to get married, and he's going to have a... Sort of as a gesture of good faith, um, the queen is always a girl from a lower um, level that was chosen. And America is madly in love with Aspen and not interested at all. And she actually has a really low opinion of Prince Maxon from what she's seen of him on TV. She just kind of assumes he's this, like, clueless rich boy who doesn't care about anyone. Um, but Aspen is trying to be a good guy and would just feel awful for the rest of his life if she chose him without giving it a chance. And it would grant her this possible opportunity to have this life of luxury that he obviously could never give her. So America finally agrees to the will of her mother and to Aspen and goes ahead and applies for the selection and then is totally surprised when she gets chosen. Well, as she's on her way out, she's pretty sure she sees Aspen with another girl. Heartbroken, she heads off to the castle and is not happy to be there and does not want to have anything to do with Prince Maxon. And then she meets him. And she starts to realize that maybe he's not a terrible person and they kind of get to know each other and she gets to know all the other girls. This is a weird detail, but I remember at one point before the book was released, um, as I mentioned, I watched Kira Cass, the author on YouTube, and she said something about how she was trying to compare her book to food. And she said that she thought that the selection was macaroni and cheese because macaroni and cheese is comfort food. And it's just something that if you're having a bad day or you just want to feel like you're at home, it's something you reach for. And that was what she hoped the selection was. I have to say that I disagree. I think that the selection is strawberry shortcake. Because you still have that cakey biscuit at the bottom where it is comforting and like homemade. But it also has like lovely red strawberries and just copious amounts of fluffy whipped cream and or ice cream on top of it to just sweeten it all up. When I read these books, I cannot help but just smile the whole time. They just like brighten my day. I, I just love these and I love the characters. And while there is a lot of fluff and a good like solid love triangle and love story in there, um, there's definitely some stuff that's going to show up in the next couple of books that are going to take on the more serious plot. Um, there are some groups of rebels that are coming that are creating problems um, with the royal family and there's the issue of the caste system and the poverty and um, one thing that America really does especially since she's one of the lower castes she really um, shows Max in and lets him know what's going on out there when he probably really didn't um, understand before. Also, a side note that nobody talks about but seems really relevant to me, and I'm not quite sure why we don't discuss this, is that when you join the army, one of the ways to um, elevate your status, you automatically become a two. So I don't know why no one talks about this, because it seems really important to me. I think there's a lot of really exciting things to come in The Elite Out Today and the third book, which she finished yesterday, and we're going to find out the title for today. Um, both exciting new political intrigue as well as great fluffy love triangle romance slash drama. So I can't wait. I think I'm going to go download it and probably stay up all the rest of the night reading it. Um, and I hope you read it. It's a lot of fun and really great. So I will talk to you soon and I will watch your video on Friday. 
I don't know why, but after I edited, my crown got cut off in most of the shots. And also, I realized when I was filming the video, my bird necklace was sitting right next to me, and I totally should have been wearing it.